Hello friends, <clears throat> I'm going to do a number of videos on complex numbers and topics of calculus. Now this is one of the excellence questions that was asked in level 3 calculus exam of 2010 and the topic was complex numbers. Okay, I hope you know uh, the rough idea or uh, the basic idea of complex numbers. Okay, now what, what's the question? I'll try to give you some preview of complex numbers. What does it say? If z or modulus of z is equal to 1, prove that 1 plus z over 1 minus z is purely imaginary. So a complex number, <coughs> uh, any complex number z can be written uh, as x plus y i. So this point say is your z. If this is a complex number. Any complex number is in a plane of real number and imaginary axis. So this is the real axis and this is called the imaginary axis. So this is different than y axis. Okay. So x axis and y axis will give you real numbers. But when you have the real axis, the real axis, you can say it's the x-axis, and this is the z-axis. I can call this the imaginary axis. And this point is called x plus yi. Okay, this is also written. You can also write this as, oops, so I wanted to write x plus. So this can also be written as x plus y i okay so i've gone i've done the uh, example i'll go step by step so this is the first step so what have i done i have i have let z is equal to x plus y i so this one plus z or one minus z is x z is x plus y i and minus z would be minus x minus y i Okay, so let me scroll down one step at a time. Okay, so what has happened now? So I have rearranged this. So this is same as 1 plus x. So I have, this, is, this has become the real part and this is the imaginary part. So I have grouped the real part together. That is 1 minus x minus yi. Now, to simplify this, this is a step that you have to remember. You have to multiply by the conjugate, okay? The conjugate of this, the denominator, 1 minus x minus yi, is the opposite, or in a way, it's, this is also called the op conjugate or the opposite. So, the opposite of this is 1 minus x, the opposite of minus is plus yi. So I multiplied both the numerator and the denominator with the same number. So basically I multiplied by 1. So let me scroll down. Okay, so what will be the next step? So the next step is simple, simple expanding. So this is in, as you, in, uh, in some countries you call foiling or expanding. So this bracket times this. That is 1 plus x times 1 minus x. Then this times this. Okay. That is yi times 1 plus x. Then yi times this. Plus yi times yi, which is yi squared. And this is the same thing. This is difference of two squares. Okay. You know the formula. You should be knowing the formula of a squared a minus b times a plus b is equal to a squared plus b squared. So I have used this formula for the denominator. Okay, so that is 1 minus x squared minus y i squared. So let me again scroll up. And the next step looks like this. I have expanded this. So 1 minus 1 plus x times 1 minus x is again the difference of two square formula. So that becomes 1 minus x squared. Then yi times 1 is yi plus yi times x is xyi. 
then yi times 1 is yi minus xyi minus y squared. This is something. So what has happened? yi squared, uh, let me scroll it up. I'll explain that here. So yi squared, yi, the whole squared has become y squared i squared. Okay. This is a bit confusing. In some places you don't square it. But in here you have to square it. Okay. So this is now i, you should know, is square root of negative 1. So i squared is negative 1. So as i squared is negative 1, this will become minus y squared. Okay, so this is a bit difficult step to understand. So let me scroll that up. And as this expands to y squared, i squared, and as i squared is negative 1, this becomes minus y squared, and that's why you have a minus here. Okay, so let me scroll up. Okay, so little down. Okay, so now is we are we have simplified this so this is one this is one minus six squared so this and this gets cancelled this and this let me cancel so what gets cancelled here you got plus x y i minus x y i gets cancelled okay so now it is one minus x squared minus y squared and you got y i plus yi is 2yi and the denominator has remained the same uh, I didn't explain the denominator the denominator is expanding this that is 1 minus 2x plus x squared plus uh, again the same principle minus this has become minus y squared i squared y squared, i squared, and i squared is negative 1, and that's why this is plus y squared. Here you can see that has become minus y squared, and here it has become plus y squared. Okay. So, this is simplified to this, and now I have grouped this together. I've taken the minus out. 1 minus x squared plus y squared plus 2yi over this whole thing. Okay, so let me again scroll up. Now, this is the next important step. What's Now, this is given modulus of z is equal to 1. That means this complex number is 1 away from the origin. And we also have defined z as x plus yi. And you should know that modulus of... Now, this is where it can be confusing. Modulus of... Here, you don't do that i squared here. I'll explain y modulus of z is square root of x squared plus y squared. Now let us go back here. Now this modulus of z is a distance, so you have to use Pythagoras. You're using simple Pythagoras. So this is your x, this distance is x, and this distance is yi. When you're using modulus, you're using Pythagoras. Okay. But when you're talking about distance, this i is only telling you the position, okay? So the sign should not be used. So here we always write modulus of z is square root of x squared plus y squared. We should not write y squared i squared here because y i, here i is only telling you that it is on the imaginary arm. The distance is only y. Okay. So I hope that is clear. So modulus of z, just as I told you, is square root of x squared plus y squared. And uh, if you square this, you had also square the other side. So this square root gets removed. And but we know z squared is equal to 1. If z is equal to 1, z squared will also be 1. So can I say x squared plus y squared is 1? Okay, so x squared plus y squared is 1. So this is very important. Now, if x squared plus y squared is 1, 
this would become 1 and this would also become 1 in the next step okay so let us look at the next step so the next step I have to scroll this a little up okay I hope you can see this so this step you look here this is 1 minus 1 plus 2yi over 1 minus 2x plus 1 here so this and this gets cancelled so what is the remaining 2y 2yi over 2 minus 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2x oh you're on the home stretch now so ultimately 1 plus z over 1 minus z is equal to yi over i've taken away the two so i've taken factored out two from the numerator and denominator and this is nothing but an imaginary number so you can write this like this y over 1 minus x times i and this is purely imaginary there is no real part for this number okay and that's what we say therefore this implies 1 plus z or 1 minus z is purely imaginary as it doesn't have any real part thank you very much see you in the next video